That's fresh bread fruit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Micronesian history at the College of Micronesia, Federated States of Micronesia. For this class, I often show the film Radio Bikini, in which one of the main characters, Chief Ilon Baono, struggles to hold back tears as he appeals to Americans to return him to Bikini to my paradise where I can live out the final days of my life. Relocated from Bikini as a young boy, Mr. Bono, who was an old man by the time of the interview, realized he may never set foot again on his birthplace, an island that was used by the United States as a site of an intensive nuclear testing program. Some students, especially the older ones, cry when they watch the film. I too feel emotional about the film when I see his sadness as he breaks down in tears. I become more conscious of my own attachment to my own place, my island. I realize that Bruno's attachment to Bikini may be woven by memories of his childhood there. The places he went and the games he played as a young boy may still be vivid in his memory. That's the paradise he wants to visit and live out the remaining days of his life. With that thought, I become more inquisitive about my own memory. What do I remember about places from my childhood? Where did my friends and I play games and do things that I can still remember? It did not take long before my memory of one particular place on my island started flooding my head. It's a place called Ulelitu, the southern tip of the island, which is basically a long stretch of uninhabited sandy beach with large trees, pandanas. Young boys from the island would play games, just be themselves, every Sunday between the morning service and the evening rosary. No adults, no girls, just us boys. On weekdays we have school and chores, and Saturday we work, but on Sunday, Ulelitu was ours, and that is my paradise. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.